Tēnei te whānau, a uh, ko Koreana Tēnei, and we're at a place called Te Rauone, and nearly every place we've been to today, we've seen pākake. That's nothing unusual for you though, is it, Koreana? You've grown up around them. Yeah, yeah. So, we lived on this beach when I was a kid, and yeah, there was always pākeke around, and the sand dunes looking like dead logs on the beach. Yeah, I do. <laughs> but yeah, today, who knows? I think, yeah, there's, there's been a lot of erosion on this beach, a lot of tourists, changing environment. Pākeke might not like it anymore. But you've really, you know, like you said, you've grown up around it and you've sort of developed a real connection with the animals. You do a lot of conservation work anyway, but you've done a lot of work with Pākeke. Tell us more about that. Yeah, so a couple years ago, I started going out with Jim Fife, um, tagging sea lion pups out at Ara Moana and Hooper's Inlet. Um, that was an awesome experience. Um, I've always been terrified of sea lions, um, still am, but they're, they're so special, they're so important, and yeah, it's been amazing. That work, I mean, you're getting right up close to those pups. You have to catch them, literally, and yep. tag them with that tag to help monitor them. That must be pretty scary stuff, like you say. Yeah, <laughs> it, it is definitely scary. But exciting. It, so exciting, yeah. It's, it's good having yeah, a good team, a lot of people who can hold other sea lines off. So I've, with the tagging, I've just been holding the seal pups and they're they're so cute they kind of look like dogs but they're they're not as rough yeah but you know the fact that you've taken something that you know you've grown up around and you're actually doing some positive mahi you know involved in that kaupapa that's that's really special that you're kind of giving back to nature in a way yeah definitely yeah. And you're off to the Auckland Islands to do more of it. Yes, in January for three weeks. So, yeah. yeah, I mean, so what would you say to young people growing up and they might have other taoka species nearby? You know, what, what kind of advice or words would you offer them? Definitely get involved as much as you can. Um, it's so special being able to interact with such an amazing animals. Um, yeah, go for it. Just. Do it. <laughs> and making a positive impact. Well, kia ora, Koreana. Yeah, awesome.